Hi everyone, so good to see you and welcome back to my channel. Today we're following on from our roly poly bird collage and making a 3D paper puppet for Mugglewump the monkey, also found in the Twits and the enormous crocodile. Come and join me in the studio and I'll go through what you will need. For your Mugglewump puppet, you will need a glue stick, some scissors, a black pen, some white scrap paper, some pink, possibly for a tongue, uh, your main background colour of your monkey, so I'm going to use this more of a rusty red colour, and if you can find any, some brown. If you can't find any of the specific colours that you want, like me, you can make do or you can paint some of your own paper or you can use just a normal white piece of printer paper, do everything I'm about to do and then colour it in afterwards to get your finished puppet. The first thing we're going to do is to fold our base paper. So let me set aside our brown and setting aside our pink as well and we're going to concentrate on folding our base colour. So you'll need any rectangle of paper at all and we're going to fold it into thirds to begin with. So I'm keeping it in a landscape position, so horizontal. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm going to fold it approximately one third of the size. There we go. And then I'm going to fold this third over the top. Like so. And you can see that actually I was pretty close. I've got a little bit of the underneath layer showing, but that's okay. All right, now you need to reach for your glue stick. And we're just going to glue down this flappy bit. So I've got the glued edge on top and I'm going to fold it in half underneath itself like that. Okay, I'm really pressing down that edge. The next thing to do is to fold this in half again. So here's my V shape here and I'm going to fold this half down to make the M, but I'm going to fold it directly in half so it's not overlapping. Okay, so now you can see I've got half of my M, but I need the other half. So now you can see we have the basis for our puppet, and I can hear you saying, What? What do you mean? But look, we have some holes here and here. And we can put our fingers into the holes there. And you can see already. The next stage is to decorate our puppet. So you can choose how to do this. You might be aiming for something that looks a bit like this. This is the enormous crocodile with his angry eyes. And you can see we've cut out and stuck the eyes on separately here. We've stuck a tongue inside and I've also stuck in some teeth. So I've left one tab and I'm going to show you how to do that for Mugglewump. So I think I'm going to start with the tongue first. To make a puppet come alive, it needs some eyes and a face. So I'm actually going to use this brown bit of paper now. And this is just some sugar paper um, that I got from a pack. So we're going to go straight onto it. Uh, let's see where our tongue is here. So we're going to get the sort of size that we want. We're going to have our monkey eyes. And then our monkey face. Okay, 
Now what I might do, so I'm going to follow this, but I'm kind of not going to follow it so precisely. Let's see if it's come out on the back. No, it hasn't. Good. So we're just sort of eyeballing what we want really. We're getting a basic shape and we can refine it and cut it down a bit further later. Okie dokie. Gonna fold that down. Gonna fold that in on itself because I want these eyes to stick up. I want them to be 3D. Okay, and the next part of this is to cut out some eyes to go onto here. I'm going to cut them out in our white paper. So we need two circles. With this rectangle, I'm going to fold it in half and cut a circle in here so that when I unfold it, what I actually get are two eyes. Have we got two? Yay, we have. And we can stick those down like that. And I'm going to draw our eyes on here. And I want him sort of looking off to one side. The next thing that we need to do is to stick our face down, but also draw um, a nose. our monkey nose and we need some monkey ears as well. So the next step we're gonna bring back our brown and we're going to cut out some monkey ears and I'll show you how to stick them on. So we'll do like we did with our eyes in half, fold it over, I'm just going to draw on some ears. So you're going to need a tab okay so there we go you can see it's a bit like a mushroom shape if we look at it that way around. Okay, I'm going to cut out our mushroom. And I'm cutting it so that the black isn't showing. The black pen cut that bit off. Okay. Okie dokie. So now, yeah like that, we have two ears. Um, I think for our ears we kind of need some other colours. So what I might do is put some pink on the inside of the ears. So again, I'm going to fold this bit And I'm just going to cut an oval shape to go on the inside of the ears. So here we go, here's our two ovals. Let's put one there and one here. And there we have it, our two ears for our monkey's head. So we bring our monkey back into shot stick them against the eyes. Now you might feel like doing another oval circle here maybe. Let's see what that looks like. So in that case I'm just going to draw around here. Yay! 
Yay! You have Mugglewump, the monkey. He can join his friends. You can do other designs, such as a roly-poly bird, or the enormous crocodile. There we go. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.